now second in the league in games played started and ice time. Our opening faceoff tonight is brought to you by Simpson Chevrolet, and so glad you could join us. And, uh, and first of all, he puts it right in the wheelhouse, so it's easier for them to handle it, and now they're in the neutral zone with speed. Terry steals in the defensive zone, carries it all the way to the Philadelphia zone where Comtois assists, got it back to Drysdale, who shot missed on the short side, and then run off the post as it came off the end boards on a quick one-timer by Lindholm. Yeah, I thought it was the crossbar, but look at that. It's the middle bar, or the back bar. But what a shot by Lindholm. Might have hit the bar underneath. Here's Kevin Pollock. 16:39, the punt crossed the goal line in Philadelphia's end. We have a ball. Of course, uh, six full seasons for Provorov without missing a game, and he's out because of COVID protocol. And here's Comtois storming in, trying to get inside on Ristolainen, and over to Lundestrom, and a save by Hart. And here was the opportunity as Comtois found Lundestrom right on the doorstep. Had a brief chat with their general manager Chuck Fletcher, and. You know, he said that both Pro Rob and Giroux, that they feel absolutely fine, but because of that positive test. Here's Terry, makes a move on Sandheim. He's in. Score on the backhand! The makings of a big night for Troy Terry. We're told that they will probably change the first goal to Terry, who tipped it, and now he has his second. Watch Troy Terry. Just keep an eye on him. He's up high. Gets the puck on his stick and he goes right around Sandheim and he just puts on the afterburners. It goes to the backhand. It's a little flip over the right leg pad, but this is about the speed and the quick hands of Troy Terry. Man, oh man, he was flying. And making his NHL splash here tonight. Over skating the puck at center is Raquel. Back comes Farabee on a give and a go and he redirects it right on. Gibson hangs on. The face-off, Sandheim moves it away as the Flyers to center. Drop pass to Farabee, redirected in. Cutting across the top was Atkinson. That was a high slot tip, and he stays hot. 13 points in his last 13 games. The Flyers have cut the lead in half. In scoring chances on average per game, and that is a nifty little redirect. Farabee is a very talented offensive player, and that tip by Atkinson goes right through the legs. Flyers went through a real offensive drought earlier this season. Here's a puck intercepted, Van Riemsdyk on a break. Goes to the backhand, Gibson denies, and the rebound chipped over top of the net and into the netting. And then there's a turnover. And you saw Drysdale do a little bit of a flyby there, and then Holmes got to be a little bit more careful with that puck. That puck does go up and over the glass, but it's a deflected puck off of the stick, so it's not going to be a delay a game penalty against Anaheim. Gibson does a great job of keeping that stick blade down on the ice. Pass across on the right side. Frost pulls up, drops it off. Konechny with speed, and his shot blocked by Manson. Kept alive by the Flyers. York shot from the line, deflected over top, comes off the end boards right to the top of the blue paint. Konechny had a bid, Gibson kept it out. Hops right over the stick of Josh Manson and comes right back to Konechny. And what a stop by John Gibson with the left leg. He just stretches out that left toe, and Konechny thinks he's going to jam it home, and Gibson robs him not only on the first bid, but the rebound opportunity as well. So two big-time stops by Anaheim's Star goaltender Gibson. Just the 10th shot on goal in this period combined between these two teams. Under five to go in the second. Only had 24 shots in the whole game and a great save on Van Riemsdyk by Gibson. Well, watch this move by Van Riemsdyk cutting back against the grain. It's around Drysdale and there's what I'm talking about. So the volume's been low. As Letary moves it down, all trying to stuff it in was Raquel and the rebound swatted out of harm's way. He took a bite out of Rista line and Drysdale and Milano play catch at the top of the zone. Far circle, nice pass across. Milano scores! Sam Steele with the great cross ice pass. The Ducks have a two-goal lead again. Sticks in position to cut off those cross ice passes. And this is what happens on this pass. Boy, Sam Steele just drills a one-timer pass across to Milano. And Milano does a great job here because he's just got to push that puck forward. 
Angled out, Comtois finds Terry, right back to Comtois into the Philadelphia zone, gets a little daylight, takes the shot, glove save, Carter Hart. Surgery for a hockey player before where they remove a bone in his hand, but that was the surgery that Comtois has had. I'm sure it's happened before, I just haven't heard about it. Braun steps up the right boards to keep it in. Watching, Around for Hayes. Watching Silverberg and he is gassed right now. Sharp angle shot, glove save on the rebound by Gibson. What a stop. This is a, some kind of a stop. Top corner pick, but the left handed John Gibson says, uh uh. He and Benoit entangled with one another this entire shift as the two of them kick at it along the end boards. It comes right in front, it comes across, and over comes Gibson to turn away a blast by Ristolainen, and he stops him on the rebound as well. Wow. In this game, the only goal scored against Gibson was on a deflected puck. And 11 grade A scoring chances we have it for the Flyers. Gibson has stopped 10 of them. Morgan Frost right back to Lindblom. A little toe drag knocked away by Sam Steele. And Manson paddles it up ice to Milano who waits at the blue line. Sonny finds a wide open Letary. Save his own rebound just to lose him and it's covered by Hart. Here's that last chance for Vinny Letary as Sonny Milano saucers that puck across. A great pass to Spring Letary. He's trying to go top glove. Carter Hart read it, had the left hand held high and just took it away from him. This is a minute 40, all in the Ducks defensive zone. Yandel's shot is blocked, picked up by Lundestrom. Can he get the legs moving to center? He'll feed it ahead. Fowler trying to skate into it. Bad angle, shot off the post. Lundestrom tripped up as he got to the rebound. The far post. Fowler from a severe angle. I don't even know how he was able to skate that fast to track that puck down. Flyers up ice. We'll see if Hart will lead the goal crease. He doesn't for now. Now he creeps out as Brown hands it off and connect me shot blockered away by Gibson. To the bench goes Hart. Extra attacker on. Right on the doorstep is Brown. Gibson turned him away. Under a minute now to play in the game. Hayes out of the corner. Tries to draw the defender. Got it into the middle. Comtois breaks it up for Terry. Terry has an empty net. Terry has a hat trick. Great play by Max Comtois there. Sure was. What and a, a nice selfless, pass. A selfless one at that. I believe that that speaks volumes about Max Comtois. And that's going to be noticed by all of his teammates. You want to believe that. As you pointed out, Brian, they call up players who haven't even practiced for the better part of two weeks. And they're going to get a 4-1 win against the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, a huge win for the Ducks. Good team win tonight.